Hello everybody! I've been doing some major horde management out here in the workshop and got it where I could get out here and do some work. I've got some projects pending over here on the washing machine but that's no big deal. There's this strand of lights from 1966 I just got going so those will be featured in a video on my next round of Christmas light finds for the upcoming season. So much better I can get to everything. Not perfect but it's a workshop so it is what it is. 88 Magic Chef Microwave still here, still going. I have added some new lighting for my workbench so now I have three light fixtures behind me so should help with shadows immensely. About the same up here. I don't know if I've ever shown with my accent lighting on before. Just some LED C7 bulbs. Soft white or warm white. All the way around. We'll go to the other side. And here's what it's looking like from this side. Got both 36 inch hunters going. Working well. Let's turn on the lighting. Of course my workbench lights. Those are all still working. I've got some product that has been seen. Some product that has yet to be seen. Some real fun stuff I got. By the time you're seeing this, you know how I have visited JK18 a little while back. And uh, he gifted me some really cool stuff, so big appreciation for that. He treats his guest right, because he sucks so bad. But all kidding aside, that was a great trip. Would do it again. So there's my soldering stuff, kind of probably need to organize that a little better. But got the music machine and then schematic machine cleaned up and tidied up, ready to go. We'll turn on this light. There's light number one, that's one of those S SG LEDs. I've got a CFL in this one. 30 watt or 30 watt. I don't know what equivalent, like 150 watts maybe. And this is another SG LEDs. So I got three of those going now. So we're plenty bright in here. Look at the brightness. It, the reason I clean this up at this time, I usually wait, it's been 110 degrees pretty much every day. So I had to do something inside, so good a time as any to get this cleaned up. And I am mainly happy with how everything is. There's the 1990 Panasonic. I don't know if I've ever done a video on this. There's my vintage Everetti battery chargers. These are NICAD battery chargers. And then there's my my 30 amp power converter. 12 volt power supply. That's an interesting story on this one. And then of course the stuff you guys know I had. Got a parts unit for the if you haven't known already the cassette player quit working in the 81 Silverado so it's one of those Whichever one's the better of the two, I'm going to make it even better. I've got belts. I've got two belts, actually. And hopefully the the uh, idler pulley is good. I understand those break pretty easily. So hopefully one of the two's got a good idler pulley. And other than that... Everything's looking pretty good and working pretty well. Haven't decided if I'm going to put a 
light kit on this one or not. I might. I've got another one. Don't know if I've got a round ball globe or not, but might have a schoolhouse one to put on there. In fact, I know I do. Because that's the one that goes on this fan. Which is the replica of my childhood bedroom fan. If, if you don't know the history on this one. But we've got a little bit to go through here. Pine Central is mostly organized. This box here has got some product I haven't shown yet. Some I have, some I haven't. I've got several things of citrus products and stuff like that in different types. So that's in the other category. A lot of pine bottles in here. And then, of course, all these are just sitting here. I've been using some of them. I just use this to clean my workbench. And then I sent JK18 some of this. I don't know if he's used it yet or not, or tried it. I brought it along with, with me on my trip, but all good stuff here. And then there's the blower assembly out of the 2003 carrier in case I need to do a PSC conversion because it's got an ECM motor on it now and everybody knows how long those last but just a update on my workshop thank you for watching